Okay guys, this uh, uh, welcome to another Main Meister 10 minute mashup. This is WarioWare on the Game Boy Advance. Now this game is, I don't know if you've ever seen it, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um, it was ported for the DS, the Nintendo DS, and it also came out on the Wii. But uh, this is its spiritual home, and it looks bizarre. It's basically a series of, I don't know how many games there are, Hun well, hundreds maybe? Mini games. They're all reaction games. Um, now, you're going to see what it's about in two seconds once I start the game. This is excellent though. It's perfect um, handheld fodder. It's just mega addictive. It really, really is. I think this is the first... Uh, I think this is the first, what do you call it, Game Boy Advance game I've actually done a, a mashup of. I've featured it in obviously various uh, arcade perfect my arse features, but um, never actually. It's obviously difficult to to, uh, to really show you a game in a handheld, so I mean, I mean I'm playing this on my PC to let you see it properly. And you get this initial typical Nintendo fear, you get the initial sort of uh, cutscenes which you can't skip initially, but once you're in the game, it's absolutely fine. Completely bizarre game, no idea what's going on here. Wario somehow falls into a box. This is the game starting. Now, there's no instructions, you basically have got about four seconds to try and figure out what you need to do. And sometimes you just don't know what to do, but it usually involves pressing the fire button at the right time. But it's a game, don't knock it until you've tried it, it's absolutely fantastic. Now you see there I've got three, uh, four lives. And basically, once you fail, you lose a life. <laughs> it's just little, hundreds of little, tiny little mini games. But they're usually so simple that you can figure out exactly what you need to do. Ah, bollocks, you can see there, I missed it. One life down. And it's all about pressing the button at the right time. It's simple, but it's compulsive. <laughs> it's just utterly bizarre. <laughs> A small Wario comes out being chased with a, a potato and a shark on a skateboard. And they proceed to go mental. But once you're past, I'm, I'm not a big fan of all this sort of cutscene nonsense. But once once this is all out of the way, you know, it's and you it obviously saves the game. It's just it's straight in. It's utterly bizarre, but utterly addictive. You've got these sort of four or five different characters and they've all got their own sort of theme. You can see here, this guy is a big 70s disco dancer. Oh yeah. But it's absolutely perfect to pick up and play stuff. It really is. See here, the, it dates the phone, it dates it to the old uh, mobile phone. 
you go, that's it started already. With four lives, which are depicted with batteries. Ah, bollocks. I would love to know how many games are actually included. See that one there involved moving left and right. You know, it's all very, very simple. Uh, simple controls, but you don't. The point is, you have you have a split second to learn the game. It's kind of akin to the old uh, Nintendo Game & Watch, it's all about just getting a high score. Perfect game if you've got five minutes to, uh, five minutes to waste. But I absolutely suggest you go and pick this game up. That was shite. Once you suss out how to do it then it's quite easy but they obviously speed up. But it's a uh, Nintendo madness at its very best. Yeah, I would love to. Uh, I would love to know what kind of goes through the Nintendo programmers' uh, minds. I mean, because some of the ideas that they come up with is just mental, absolutely mental. Mental in a good way, though. Now, what you can see here is, you can see there I've now got. So if I go back to Wario, I now get to play. It just goes straight to him. So there's certain uh, games that he plays. Ten to beat. I mean, it looks simple, and yeah, to begin with, it is, but it gets harder very quickly. <laughs> ah, bollocks. Now again, I'm not making excuses, but I know this is playing a wee bit. It's not playing as silky smooth as it should. Um, and so this is even better suited to the, the sort of proper hardware. But it's utterly bonkers, it really is. Level up, you'll see it's getting a bit quicker. Or in the 
case of that one, the wee thing to stop it on gets smaller. Some of these actual wee mini games would actually be quite good games in their own right. Okay. Ah, well, I don't know what it is with this particular event. So again, we've got the same uh, sort of punch bag but it goes a wee bit quicker. And it goes. You get an extra life for that. You can turn the telly on. <laughs> so you get quicker. These sticks getting smaller as well, so there's less uh, room for error. Whoops! The sound's excellent as well. It's just it's a it's a brilliant, brilliant uh, game. It sounds nuts. It sounds like a game that wouldn't work. You play mini games for like, you know, three three second mini games. It shouldn't work, but it does. Hey guys, I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to let this, uh, run until this uh, game's over. It's going to start getting harder very, very quickly. Ah, bollocks. Two lives to go. Basically, got to get to. Ah, you got to try and get to the, the sort of tenth round to get an extra life. So I'm going to be struggling now, like so, and it's game over. But you can see there, it saves the high scores. You know, not really fantastic. Anyway, guys, listen, that's it. This is a uh, WarioWare, and this is on the Game Boy Advance. Um, hope you enjoyed watching guys and thanks for watching.